This is my uh, Magnum Power Tracker. Um, it could handle a lot more wattage uh, for my 12 volt system. I believe it was 1600 and some watts. Uh, so I got uh, right now like a thousand watts run into it waiting for some more cable to hook up. Um, it's in absorb mode right now. Uh, it does work very well. Goes into the bulk and then in the absorb and float in the afternoon uh, just depending on how much sun. We haven't had a lot of sun but it uh, seems to work fairly well. One thing I did uh, want was a remote uh, to monitor it, do some more functions. Uh, I was told that that would work, that I could run that directly off of just uh, the power track without having to have uh, the inverter and so on. That is not the case. If you want to be able to control this and program that with a remote, you need to have uh, the regular Magnum uh, inverter hooked up into the system. It's, you can't use that when it's in standalone the way I have it. Uh, so for now, what we got is just the dip switches inside uh, to be able to run that. And hopefully uh, the wind goes down a little bit one day. I got some more panels to put up on the, on the roof. I just wanted to uh, let you know about the uh, remote meter that uh, was standalone mode. Uh, you cannot hook that uh, directly to this, uh, this uh, charge controller. Uh, but this is a, I do like the controller. It is heavy and it is well built. Um, so far we haven't had any enough heat that the fan would even uh, kick on to it. So once I get more panels I will uh, let you know uh, how this system is working out for me.